The Color Monster, a story about emotions. This is the Color Monster. Today he woke up feeling confused and he doesn't know why. Are you all mixed up again, Color Monster? Oh, he looks pretty mixed up, huh? All those colors? Your emotions don't mix, don't work well when they're all jumbled up. His emotions are a little jumbled up. You should try to separate them and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. Let's try to make sense of how you're feeling today. There they go to try to sort out the emotions that he's feeling today. This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you laugh and jump and dance and play. You want to share your happiness with everyone. I put my own happiness into a little jar. See, there's the little happy monster. Oh, this is sadness. It is lonely and blue like a rainy day. It washes over you like the sea. He looks very sad. When you're sad, you hide and you want to be alone. You don't want to do anything except maybe cry. And it's okay to cry, color monster. Now they put the sadness into a little jar. And I did that too. Here's mine. It floats very slowly because when I'm sad, I kind of get a little bit slow. Like all my movements are slow and the tears come down really slowly. Let's see what next to feeling that there is. Oh, this is anger. It burns red like a fire and is hard to stamp out. When you're angry, life can feel unfair. Have you guys ever been angry before? It's kind of not a very good feeling. I like clench my fists and get all like, grrr. <laughs> Everything kind of feels tight. Sometimes you want to take out your anger on others, but I'll be nice to you, color monster. Your anger will disappear. Wow, is it ever okay to take your anger out on others? No, it's not. It's best to say the words that you're feeling and things, and it's okay to be angry, but don't try not to take it out on other people. My anger, I put into a jar, it looks like this. It's kind of like lava, like hot lava, because when I'm angry, everything feels really hot, too. All right, let's see what the next emotion is. Oh, this is fear. It hides and runs away like a mouse in the night. Wow. When you're afraid, you feel tiny. He's so tiny. You think you don't have the courage to face the gray shadows, but I can help you find your way. Have you guys ever felt afraid before? Afraid or worried? Worried is another word for being afraid. I feel worried a lot. I really don't like driving, so sometimes I feel worried when I drive. And this is what my worry monster looks like. I put him in a little jar and everything falls and kind of clouds over it. What do you think the next emotion is? Oh, well, let's find out. This is calm. It is quiet like the trees and as light and green leaves swaying in the wind. Ah, I like feeling calm. Do you guys like feeling calm? Oh, when you're calm, you breathe slowly and deeply. You feel at peace. Wow, look how relaxed this color monster feels. He really is calm. Relaxed is another word for calm. Usually when you're sitting down reading a book, you feel pretty calm. Maybe watching these videos make you feel calm. I hope so. Here's what my calm monster feels or looks like. Really slow, kind of like worried, except it's bright. And I feel happy when I'm calm. Happy and calm kind of go together. All right, let's see what the next one is. Oh, are we done? Now you can rest, Color Monster. All your feelings are in the right place. 
They're sad in his jar, anger in his jar, worried in his jar, calm in his jar, and yellow in his jar. Uh, I see that you're feeling something new. You look different, Color Monster. Tell me, how do you feel now? How it's all pink and there's flowers. How do you think that he feels? What feeling do you think of when you think of the color pink? Hmm, let's find out what he's feeling. <gasps> oh, he feels loved. Oh, that's so nice. A friend helped him out to figure out all his feelings. And now he feels loved because his friend did something kind for him. That is incredible. Here is what my loved monster looks like. It's all bubbly and sparkly. If I can make it sparkle. Look at it. That's my loved color monster. I feel loved when a friend does something kind for me just like the color monster did. All of these different jars. Tomorrow I'll show you how to make them. Um, you can make an, any kind of different ones. Even if you have like a small jar and you put something of that color or something in it that kind of makes you feel that emotion, you can do that too and try that at home with your grown up. Thank you so much, my friends, for listening to me. I hope that you enjoyed today's story. Later today, I'll have our uh, so, uh, second step lesson with our puppet friends. I hope to see you then. Bye for now.